Hi everyone and welcome to another car boot haul. I'm sorry there wasn't one last week but I was away, we were up in Yorkshire visiting family. But I managed to get out today, it was very cold and a little wet this morning so there wasn't a ton of people selling, especially the family sellers I tend to buy off so it was slim pickings this morning. But I did pick up some stuff, enough for a haul anyway so I'll show you what I picked up, how much I paid and I'll flash on the screen or tell you how much hopefully I'll get for the items. So this is a quick view of what I've purchased and we'll go through it in detail now. So first off we have three Zelfs, I bought these before, I always tell you to look out for these. If you can get them at a good price they are worth money. Uh, these were 150 each, these larger ones. Um, so I'm not sure of their names but I will look them up. They came with a few accessories as well, which was good, she threw those in for me. Uh, so yeah, 150 each for those, that was cool. And then she had a smaller one, these are medium. Uh, they're classed as medium elves. This was a pound, so I thought for a pound uh, that's quite good. One of these I think goes with this one, the other one will go with this one, I'm sure. The same store had some action figures in a box, 50p each. I had a quick look. I found this Star Wars one. It's nothing brilliant. It's a 1995 Power of the Force one. Luke Skywalker. It's one of those silly buffed up ones. <laughs> Probably, I doubt it's even worth 50p, but it was there, so I picked it up. Next, a couple of Harry Potter ones. Well, I think that's Harry Potter. That's Draco Malfoy, I think. Um, but th that's definitely Voldemort, so yeah. I think that's Draco and Voldemort. I might sell them as a bundle. I'll have to look them up and see how much they're worth individually. If not, I'll just bundle them together. Next, a weird little plush beaker from the Muppets. I've no idea. It looks, it could be McDonald's, I don't know. Um, yeah, it is McDonald's. Um, it was only a pound, but I thought someone might purchase that. It'll go large letter, I think, if you squish his nose down. <laughs> I'm sure someone might buy that, so I'll look at how much that one's worth and hopefully it'll be worth more than a pound plus postage. Next I found this, um, if you know my channel you know I like Lego. Um, it's a Legoland medal, it's, I think it's metal. Um, it's from 2004, yeah it's got a copyright 2004 on it. Again I don't know how much it's worth but it looks Unusual, not something you see every day. It was two pounds, so I'll see how much that's worth. Next, there was a store had a Cluedo puzzle. I love Cluedo, um, so when I saw this, I had to pick it up. It's vintage from the 1990s. Um, it does have a little sticker up here saying it's complete. Whether I trust that or not, I don't know, but I presume it is. Um, the pieces are loose in there though, so I'm I'm a little sceptical whether it is or not. Uh, but I will count the pieces before I sell it, just in case. But for a pound, um, that should be fine. Hopefully it will get just into double figures maybe. Uh, next, another board game. Well, not kind of a game, not a board game, but it's Pop-Up Pirates. I've mentioned this before and Kaplunk. Whenever I buy these, I don't sell the game. I part out the pieces, make a lot more money doing that. People seem to buy the pieces. I'm always, I've sold out of all my pop up pirate stuff, all my Kaplunk stuff's gone as well. Uh, so, yeah, that's what I do if I ever see these pop up pirates and Kaplunks, Monopolies, Cluedos, if they're in poor condition, I part it out. Stuff like that sells on eBay for some reason. Next, there was a rummage box of like Play Doh press out shape things and I had a good look through and I found these. I recognise these straight away as I'm an 80s kid. These are Disney Wuzzles. Uh, they're stamped on the back. Walt Disney Productions 1985 Hasbro. Um, I'm not sure of the names of these. They basically are two animals mashed together so I think that's an elephant and I can't remember the other one. It's an elephant and something. This one I think is like a butterfly and maybe a bear or 100%. But I will find out their names. 
It might be a kangaroo, that one. Elephant and kangaroo. I'm not 100%. <laughs> but anyway, they were 20p each. I have no idea if there's value to them, but they're from the 1980s. So I picked them up for 20p each, which was nothing. Next we have some top trumps. Uh, Marvel ones. These are a pound. I haven't counted any of the cards, so I don't know if they're complete. I'm hoping they are. There were more on the stalls of Top Trumps, but I pick, didn't pick up the few titles that I know don't sell or were in poor condition. These cards look like they're in relatively good condition. I've still got a copy of this one, I think. Um, or I've sold it very recently. Uh, but there's a Disney, who's your favourite? Jacqueline Wilson, Marvel. They were 50p each. This was £2, a little bit more expensive, but I don't think I've ever seen these before, Star Trek ones. So for £2 I thought I'd take a punt on them. And last ones were Dennis the Menace, they were 50p. More puzzles. This is a Waddington's Christmas puzzle. I still have loads of these. I don't know why I bought this really, because the other ones I bought yeah, towards the end of last year still haven't sold. <laughs> But I'm hoping with Christmas coming up, maybe that will change. Um, the other ones are priced about £10, £11. So if I can get them sold for about £10 each, that's fine. This one cost me £2. Again, I haven't opened it, sellotape shut, so I'm hoping all the bits are there. The lady who had this one and this one was quite chatty. She seemed to like puzzles and she said she really enjoyed putting this one together so I'm presuming all the pieces are there because she's an actual puzzle person, not a trader. This one looked interesting, it's called the Kitchen Cupboard and the lady was raving about it so yeah I picked that one up as well but again that was £2. I'll check how much that's worth and put it on the screen. Uh, next I'll show you this, it's Super Cluedo Challenge. We used to have this back in the 90s, um, me and my brother. This was £5. The only reason I picked this up is because it's never been played. The box is a bit rough on the outside, it's probably just been stored away. But inside the bits are immaculate, they've never been played as you can see. Don't think they've even been taken out their elastic band. But yeah, this one's uh, really interesting. The cards have these numbers on or colours. I can't quite remember. But you put your like mystery cards in these envelopes, and throughout the game, you like reveal what's inside the envelopes and stuff. Three things that I think that's correct. Obviously, room suspect and weapon, I'm presuming. But you can see all the counters are still attached. It looks like the cards, it's still got the production thing on, so I'm presuming they haven't been touched. This game was interesting because it had extra characters on, so. You had the usual like Miss Scarlet, Colonel Mustard, Mrs. Peacock, Mrs. White, Reverend Green, Professor Plum, and then you had people like Mr. Slate Grey, Miss Peach, Captain Brown, which like new. I think you also had new like weapons as well. There's some, yeah, the axe, the blunderbuss, and the poison. So there was three extra like murder cards in this game, which was like the unique point about it. You can see it's all there. Again, I'll put up on the screen how much I think I'll be able to get for it. I will look up parting out as well, but because it's all new and sealed and never been played, um, I think I can get a lot more for it. Um, like that, so even got, even got the, the dice. So yeah, brilliant find. As I said, it's five pounds. I wouldn't have paid five pounds if it had been used, um, because I don't think it's worth that much. 
Yes, yeah, so that's the back of the box if you're interested in what it looks like. And the last thing today is some more Early Learning Centre Happy Land stuff. Um, I also got this Duplo thing, it was a pound, so it made it up to £10 for all this. A little on the steep side compared to what I normally have been paying for Happy Land stuff. But because it was there and I know the castle does sell really well, better than the other stuff I picked up, the family stuff. And London bus. Makes sounds. So, and it comes with figures as well. The figures seem to be the valuable bits. You can sell figures separately for quite a lot of money. So yeah, four pound for the London bus. I'll put up on the screen what it should get, hopefully. And the same with the castle. Um, as I said, it should fetch a little bit more than I normally get for Happy Land stuff. Comes all these figures as well, cool little ones. There's Merlin, Knights, Goblins. Loads of cool things in there, so I'm sure that'll help sell it. And as, as I said, the Duplo thing, I don't know how much that's worth on its own. If it's not worth anything, I'll just bundle it up. I've got, still got a ton of Duplo stuff in the stock room. So yeah, that was my morning at the car boot sale. Car boot season is tailing off now, so I apologise if the car boot hauls are a little thin on the ground, probably from now on really, because of the weather, the coldness. So if you don't see a car boot haul, I apologise, but obviously car boot season is coming to an end now. My local ones are still around up till Christmas, I think they do them. And then there's a break until March, but obviously that's weather dependent. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you all soon. Bye.